Hello, I'm Dr. Israel Barkin, the Medical Director of the Prostate Cancer Research and Education Foundation. Today in this video I'm going to discuss focal cryotherapy for prostate cancer. I'll be reviewing Dr. Gary Onik publication and also being a short clip that Dr. Gary Onik was interviewed on his local TV station. Focal therapy modalities, they are all using imaging to guide the treatment either transrectal ultrasound or MRI. And here are the following technologies. Cryoablation, the freezing, which we'll talk today, HIFU, high intensity focus ultrasound, laser in different forms, electroporation, and radiation seeds. All of these are being studied now to try to see what is the effect of treating focally the prostate gland not the whole gland. With cryoablation, there is information about longer period of time studied. So here is the paper. It's an original article written by Dr. Gary Onik, who is a pioneer who actually uh, invented the cryo procedure using ultrasound initially on liver and then on prostate. So the name of the paper is Long Term Results of optimized focal therapy of prostate cancer. Average 10 years follow-up in 70 patients. Very important to stress the fact that this is the longest long-term follow-up on patients that had focal treatment. And how is this optimized focal therapy done? It is done by using saturation biopsy and ultrasound imaging to try to freeze the areas that are involved. We see here a template where the needle is inserted into the prostate. And here we see a different cut transversely where you see dots here represent location where needle can be inserted. And this is the model of the whole prostate. When we do focal cryotherapy, this area, the left side of the gland, it looks here on the right side, but it's the left side of the gland. And this is the area that was frozen. Important to note that his paper, that he would freeze not only one side, but he would freeze as many locations that he could find the tumor, even if it's on the other side. So it could be even bifocal by having freezing on one side and also on the other side of the gland. So here is the focal cryoablation study. At 70 patients, follow up 10 years. There was 100% continence, and 94% of the patients, they preserved their potency. 90% were disease-free survival after this procedure was done. What's interesting to note is the fact that he treated not only low-grade disease, but also higher glycens, more aggressive type of cancer, and still got the very good results over a period of 10 years. So Dr. Onig started now, pioneered the lumpectomy for the prostate, like lumpectomy is done for the breast cancer, not removing the whole breast by treating only the area of the tumor. The same is here with the prostate is a lumpectomy, it's only the area where the tumor is, but if there is more than one area who would freeze on both sides of the prostate. So Dr. Gary Onik gave a recent interview in a local TV station. Let's go now and watch that clip. This is Maureen's Medical Moment. Using cold to beat cancer, a new treatment option is freezing prostate cancer in its tracks. See how in tonight's Medical Moment. More than 230,000 men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer this year. In most cases, surgery is considered the gold standard of treatment, but doctors could soon turn to a new option, one that involves something we hate come winter, freezing temperatures. Ice on the tip of a probe, focal cryoablation, freezing and killing cancer in the prostate. And here. You can see that's the freezing margin. Bob Wilson traveled hundreds of miles to have this treatment instead of complete removal of his prostate. I want to continue to live normal, as normally as I can for as long as I can. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot of side effects with uh, radical prostatectomy that I didn't want. 
A new study shows the results of focal cryoablation on 70 patients followed for an average of 10 years. Continence after first treatment was 100 percent. Potency after first treatment was 94 percent and disease-free survival for all patients was 90 percent. And what we have found is that in our group, medium high-risk patients had the exact same 90 percent chance of being disease-free. That's remarkable. George Tholke is one of the patients in the study. The day after the procedure, he played tennis. To me, it's a slam dunk. It's, it's logical. Um, you can go back and redo it if you do something wrong. Dr. Onik has been using a 3D mapping technique to gather tissue samples for a more precise diagnosis. He believes most prostate cancer patients could be candidates for this treatment, freezing a common cancer in its tracks. Men with advanced prostate cancer may not benefit from focal cryoablation. Since this was the first long-term study of the treatment, doctors want to see another done in order to confirm and compare results. For more information on prostate cancer or to read the research summary for today's story, you can go to WNVU.com and click on the medical moment. Thank you for viewing the video on focal cryotherapy. I hope in the next week to bring another video, this time about focal laser ablation, MRI guided clinical study ongoing these days. Thank you. Please visit us on www.pcref.org and on our video blog at drbarken.wordpress.com. Thank you. Stay well, stay informed, and have fun. Goodbye.